wife who set fire to husband, a former deputy sheriff, and watched him burn before eventually calling 911 is convicted of murder. Her goatee is connected better than mine's. I thought I had a little bit of stubble over here. She looks like Christopher Walken with a five o'clock shadow. But if you follow these type of stories or if you follow how law enforcement investigates these type of cases, the spouse is usually the number one suspect until proven otherwise. And it's usually over the money or another lover. And looking at her, it's it's most likely the money. A 68-year-old woman in Pennsylvania will likely spend the rest of her life behind bars for killing her husband who was set on fire on the back patio of their home and then trying to claim that his death was a suicide. A Dauphin County jury on Friday found Evelyn Zigarelli Henderson, a perennial candidate for elected office, what was she running for? Guilty on one count each of second-degree murder, aggravated arson, and arson in the 2022 slaying of 84-year-old Carmen Henderson. It's always those young girls, the former county deputy sheriff, court records reviewed by Lauren Crime Show. Jurors deliberated for only 45 minutes before returning with the various guilty verdicts, according to a report from York, Pennsylvania, Fox affiliate WPMT. If I was an investigator, I wouldn't believe suicide for not one second, especially someone setting themselves on fire, the most agonizing way to go out, over shooting themselves, hanging, or overdose the usual suspects, the normal culprits. Then think, this man was 84 Four years old he lived his whole life that's what makes this story kind of tough because someone lived almost a century and the final boss is their wife as reported by law and crime Zigarelli Henderson called 911 in the early morning hours of June 16 2022 and told the emergency dispatcher that her husband had died after starting a fire and burning himself it just sounds off the dispatcher took notes on the call writing something is very off with the caller she is hesitant to answer questions court documents state first response Responders arrived at the resident at about 5 a.m. and found the victim later identified as Carmen Henderson burned to death and nude on the couple's back patio. Authorities said they found fly larva in his mouth and nostrils, indicating that he had been dead for a while. Police said they first suspected Zigarelli Henderson when her story about what happened started shifting. Initially, Zigarelli Henderson told investigators that she and her husband had argued the previous night and that she later woke up to find him burned to death outside, framing his death as a suicide. I don't think she understood how ridiculous she sounded so you mean to tell me the two of you got into an argument then he went out on the back patio ass naked and set himself on fire is that your final answer man do you want to take a shave before we haul you downtown when reminded she told the emergency dispatcher that she heard her husband scream around 1 a.m you should have led with that she revised her story to say his death was likely an accident caused by him smoking a cigar starting a fire what did he have gasoline draws an investigation by the Dauphin County Fire Investigation Team found that version of events to be improbable. Zigarelli Henderson's story continued to change, authorities said. Zigarelli Henderson eventually settled on telling police that she saw her husband sitting in a folding camp chair with a lower pant leg on fire while screaming her name for help. In this story, Zigarelli Henderson said she picked up the phone to dial 911 but decided against placing the call. She could not explain why she chose not to call when she knew he was on fire. Investigators also quizzed the defendant on her relationship with the deceased and determined a financial financial motive for murder i told you peep game because nowhere does it say she was upset she was crying she was scared she was distressed or she was distraught or even frustrated when the authorities came she just went right into the mode where she was spitting off pieces of a story to see which parts fit so she could try to get up out of the situation according to police the couple's severe debt included owing forty thousand dollars due to a second mortgage on their home and owing back taxes they also believe sheriff's deputies would seize their property damn ziccarelli henderson stated that that she knew she would be homeless shortly. The criminal complaint stated Zigarelli Henderson said that C. Henderson would live with his children from another marriage. Zigarelli Henderson stated that she was not welcome to live with the children and that right there should be a testament to her character. As of Saturday morning, a date has not been set for Zigarelli Henderson's sentencing hearing. There you have it, kids. Evelyn Zigarelli, a.k.a. the bearded bride. I guess all that richer or poor, better or worse meant nothing when she was flushing all their money down the toilet.